Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome once again to the Nova Wrap, your weekly one place destination for all news and things simulation related. So this week folks, we've had, uh, and you, you know what, we've had not a great deal happening in the simulation world this week. Um, to start with, well, one thing we do have, as you can see from the title in the background here, we've had the announcement by EA that they're actually going to be offering a free trial of their much maligned title or reboot of the SimCity franchise. Uh, so for those who uh, who have heard or seen the uh, the disastrous history that was SimCity uh, when they uh, launched the reboot last year, uh, SimCity is the uh, latest in a sort of a common theme at the moment of rebooting uh, old series uh, for new systems and new generations. Uh, SimCity is your classic city simulation. Um, kind of kind of really in the title, isn't it? Really, it's kind of obvious. Really, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the series has been around for quite a while, uh, started by Sid Meier and the Maxis team many, 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 many moons ago, uh, and in, in fact actually so long ago, I actually remember playing the original at school, it was actually released as an education edition, believe it or not, so there you go, it was one of my first exposures to, uh, to computer gaming, but mm. anyway. Um, so SimCity, uh, when it launched, it was highly anticipated. Everybody was looking forward to it. And when it launched, it was a absolute disaster. It was incredibly buggy. Um, the launch was just an absolute disaster. Um, people such as myself who'd been really looking forward to it and who'd been like, you know, hung out and gone, yes, okay, ticked over midnight, yes, I can start downloading. Uh, couldn't get onto the servers, and it was interesting that anyone who'd pre-ordered it basically couldn't download it, and yet if you logged in after the launch date, you know, a couple of minutes after the launch time, then you could actually go straight in and download it and all was fine, and yeah, that was a little bit messed up, just, just, just a little, just a little messed up. Um... So apart from the uh, PR nightmare that was the launch of SimCity, um, then came a lot of the other things uh, in the aftermath. So the city sizes were a lot smaller than people were expecting. Um, the multiplayer aspect and the fact that it required an always online internet connection just to play what essentially amounts to a single player game, really. Um, it was it was very disappointing and was not very well received by the community and um, EA tried to bluff their way out of it by saying that yes okay um, it's 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 you know it's server side calculations is why you need to always be on the internet um, and you know when they were probed about you know are they going to make an offline edition because you know not everybody wants to be online all the time some people just want to you know putter around and make giant cities or small out you know small outback towns and they just want to be left to their own devices and EA said no 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 can't can't do that can't do that can't do that and then lo and behold about eight months later they did a backflip and said yeah okay all right we are going to work on an offline mode and that was released a couple of months ago so yeah that the, yeah just blatantly lied to us but eh, hey mm, unfortunately it happens Anyway, um, but in this latest piece of news, uh, it is now available as a demo, as a free trial. Um, the demo is a little restricted. Uh, it does restrict you to only four hours of play. Uh, it is only for single player offline mode. Um, it is only, it is limited to two regions um, and only, sorry, and only two slave slots. So, um, you look. You know what? It's probably what you would normally expect with a demo. Um, the time limited thing is a little annoying, but um, really, four hours is going to be enough for you to figure out whether or not uh, SimCity is going to be the game for you. Whether you want to get into it, um, it, it has come a long way. I will give it that. The uh, major expansion, Cities of Tomorrow, that came out. Um, did add quite a few cool things to it, so yeah, I was you know, pretty impressed by that. Overall, 
I still like SimCity. I am still disappointed that it wasn't what everybody was hyped up to be and what it was going to be, but, yeah. I, it's, it's still a game I'll trot out and I'll... Yeah, I'll trot out and it's a massive time sink, it really is. So, yeah. This is this is a good way for people to get an experience of it, and yeah, if they, if they want to see if they want to enjoy it, so hmm, there you go. All right, well, moving on to other news. In other news, we have um, another in the release of uh, X Plane Ten add-ons for Steams, and now it's on the 64-bit Steam edition. Uh, these are now available for download from your Steam client. Uh, they've added in the uh, airport, so the Anchorage International. Uh, has been added in, so uh, to Ted Anchorage, Ted Stevens International uh, has been added in and is able to be purchased uh, through your Steam client and is fully compatible with the 64-bit edition of x 10 Global for Steam. So uh, as part of a uh, launch promo, it is going to be 25% off um, until the 14th of August. So um, again, uh, this is possibly, you know, again, a real, real big flag for Dovetail and Microsoft. If you guys don't get your proverbial together real fast, then you've lost any chance of getting back some of the flight simulation market because x has managed to... Steam, for it, whether you love it, hate it, loathe it, enjoy it, advocate for it, whatever. Um, Steam is very much the, uh, the digital distribution platform at the moment. Um, if you make it big on Steam, you make it big everywhere. And X Plane 10 have already proven that they are being first to market, that they're doing pretty damn well. Um, so if Dovetail and Microsoft don't catch up real fast, um, this is going to be a problem. So, hmm, yes, word of warning out there for them. All right. Uh, moving on, uh, so we have the wonderfully talented people over at uh, Full Terrain and Orbix um, have released a service pack uh, for their uh, New Zealand South Island uh, region. Uh, so that's service pack three. It's a cumulative uh, patch. It's a pretty hefty one too. It's one point. It's over. I think it's, it's over 1.1 gig. So pretty hefty uh, service pack. This one. Uh, now this service pack uh, does add in. Uh, so sort it of makes a few various changes and stuff. Um, the the change log does seem to be pretty vague. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a huge update. So. Um, mm. Definitely, definitely going to be, uh, as you can see, this is what we're flying over at the moment. Um, definitely worth checking out if you are an owner of Orbix uh, New Zealand South Island. Now, the other long-awaited release, uh, and you've probably guessed what this is going to be from just watching this video of we fly around over New Zealand, is that uh, the awesome, awesome like freeware and flight simulation project creator Dino Cataneo. Uh, he has released his latest beautiful piece of add-on freeware uh, for FSX and P3D. He has released the S3B Viking. Uh, now, this aircraft has been very much long awaited. A lot of people have been waiting for it. Um, I was fortunate enough to be uh, in the beta as well. I uh, had a quick play around with it and uh, I was really impressed, it really was. Um, and this one is definitely he's ironed out pretty much all the bugs. He he does have a the, he, by his own admission he said there are a few bugs still in there. Um, he had imposed a he had a self-imposed deadline of having it out um, by the first week of August. Um, so acknowledging that he does still have a couple of bugs to fix, um, he's actually not named it version one. It's version zero point nine nine. So, um, but I tell you what, it, it's awesome. It is so cool. Um, flies like an absolute dream. The sound set is incredible, and yeah, just uh If if you love any kind of naval aviation or just you know aviation in general, just get it. It is so much fun. Um, obviously, if you're a tack pack user, you do have a couple of extra goodies in there as well, as it is fully tack pack compliant. Um, as I said, a couple of silver bugs in there is ironing out, but the overall tack pack experience is all in there as well, and the experience is there very much so for FSX and P3D users. So um, go out, get it, enjoy it, it's awesome, and say thank you very much to Dino um, because his work uh, is absolutely incredible. So that's pretty much all I have to say. 
Alright folks, well, that pretty much wraps up the Nova Wrap for this week. Thanks very much for uh, watching and tuning in once again, as always. Uh, as always, though, folks, don't forget, you can catch up with me and see what I'm up to and all of my latest and greatest activities um, by uh, following me here and liking and subscribing here on the YouTube channel. You can also find me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. Alright, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.